Welcome to our channel. Please subscribe and like us. Thank you. November 16th was the 12th anniversary of the day Prince William and Princess Catherine announced their engagement in 2010. Much has already been said about the princess's engagement ring. It was originally worn by Princess Diana, Prince William's mother. After her death, the jewelry was inherited by her sons and was originally chosen by Prince Harry, Diana's youngest son. But when his older brother thought of getting married, Harry gave the ring to him in exchange for a Cartier watch, which also belonged to Diana. On November 16, 2010, Catherine and William announced their engagement in the front apartments of St. James's Palace. Catherine appeared in public that day in a blue Issa gown and a blue stone ring sparkled on her finger. In an interview about the engagement, the Princess of Wales described the ring as beautiful and very, very special. You bet it is, because it was worn by Princess Diana of Wales herself. To recap, Diana chose the ring from a catalogue of the royal jeweler Gerard. No one in the royal family wore such a ring, because usually royal brides prefer rings with diamonds. But, there are a few people who also wear colored stones. These are Queen Elizabeth II's daughter, Princess Anne. Her second husband, Sir Timothy Lawrence, presented her with a cabochon sapphire in a classic setting, both sides set with small clusters of three diamonds. Anne's first husband, Captain Mark Phillips, also gave her an engagement ring with a sapphire, so we can say that Anne is a fan of the beautiful blue stone. The royal princess's first engagement ring was set with three diamonds and sapphires of equal size. Princess Eugenie of York also has an engagement ring with a unique pink sapphire called a Pidparadsha. Jack Brooksbank presented the jewelry to Eugenie on their engagement day, January 22, 2018. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video.